In today's video, we're working on my 2008 BMW 335i. We're going to be coding it um, to show a digital speed readout on your bottom portion of your cluster. Digital speedometer. FYI, these gauges are converted to look like uh, an M3 gauge cluster. I have another video on my channel, which I'll link at the end of this video, in case you're interested in doing the same. But if I were to just go key on here... Now I'm going to cycle through my options when I hit the BC button over here. I think I gotta have my door closed for that. So I have my miles per hour, average, fuel economy, instant fuel economy, nothing, miles still empty. And that's about it. So what I want to do now is code the car so that it will show a digital speed readout. So let's get on to doing that now. In case you're new to the channel, I'll briefly go over this. You're going to need this K plus D CAN USB interface cable, which you can purchase on Amazon and eBay for about $20. Just connect it to here. In the driver's side footwell. When you plug it in, you should get a light indicating it's connected. Just run the cable outside the car. Okay, so you're going to need a laptop that's completely wiped clean. If you follow the thread in the description, it's going to guide you through setting up IMPA on both Windows 10 and Windows 7, depending on what type of laptop you're running. So, devote it to this purpose. You have to have a spare old laptop to get this job done. So I got the cable connected. I'm going to go key on now. Because I have comfort access, I just got to toss the keys into the car. I'm going to put it into the run position and turn off my headlight so that I don't uh, cause any unnecessary drain and not run down the battery. To ensure we have a connection to the car, we're going to load up IMPA and look to see if we have two black dots, which we do. So we're good there. Now we can go into NCS Expert. Okay, so we're going to need to load up NCS Expert Tool, which is going to be part of the INPA software suite. You will have this option if you follow that thread to a T. You're going to go File, Load Profile, RevTurf NCS Expert Profile, hit F1, F3, scroll down until you find E89. Hit OK. We're going to download the vehicle order from the car access system. That's going to tell the software about the car. So that way you can find all the available modules. And then we're going to narrow in on the combi module, which is a module that stores the setting for uh, the vehicle uh, speed being displayed digitally on the cluster. So we're going to hit back process an ECU, this way we can narrow in on the combi module, K-O-M-B-I, that's the instrument cluster, hit OK, hit OK. Now we got to be uh, conscious of our job name, we want to change the job. You can either do this Codir Dayton lesson or Cordier Index lesson, it doesn't make a big difference. I'm just telling it to read from the ECU which is specifically the combi ECU right now. Hit execute job. Okay. You can even click read ECU directly, regardless of what the job name is, just FYI if you're using NCS Expert. Reading ECU does the same thing. Pops up your trace file. You know that when you get this pop up here, you know that you actually did successfully download the files off of the ECU. Go to Drive C, NCS Expert. Double click it. Go into your work directory. Be conscious of your time. Mine's showing as 12:33. Look for a trace file that was made around that time. FSW underscore PSW dot TRC just made. Now we're going to search for 
just hit control F dig it I think it's gonna be there just like that there you go BC for like when you hit the BC button on your stock digital V niche active meaning it's not active the car is not meant to display the digital speedometer so I'm gonna remove this make sure all the spacing lines up properly I'm gonna click file save as dot let's change this to all files and then change this to dot man you'll probably have one already there from working with the ECU and in other instances other ECUs on the car don't worry about that just change it save it it's gonna say do you want to overwrite I am I'm overwriting because I was working with my cast module before you may want to back up that fsw underscore psw dot trc file somewhere on the computer just so that you have a safe copy but regardless we still have we could always reset worst case if things didn't go as planned but we're good now that we've saved our dot man file or our manipulated file we're going to go into back into ncs expert click on basic functions and we're going to go look for coapi read get FSW PSW that's just going to tell the software to look for that manipulated file that we just made okay hit okay now it says we're good this is just being extra thorough you could just go back into the software and um, go ahead and click uh, code and, and it naturally is supposed to look for that file but just so that there's no errors or you didn't do a typo let's say you missed a a digit or something it's going to read that manipulated file and you won't get that basic functions perfect ended and you could therefore push a file into your ECU that could break it so I like to do it this way I'm actually doing some redundant steps the way I show you guys how to code it's just being a little extra thorough there's faster ways to do things and there's actually better ways to do things than I show one someone actually commented on my last video saying that's not the perfect way to do it they had a point but I'm looking for a way to show you guys how to code and if you screw something up not need to tow your car to the dealer because you can always download a base file back off the vehicle order which is default unmanipulated and then start again so I like to click basic functions grab the file so that it's put into a queue checked against uh, errors and not gonna break your ECU so you find I don't know I think I saw a couple other videos on YouTube showing something like this it's just I like to show this way because less chance of screwing something up job name Codier Dayton lesson it's in read mode still it basically reverted to that when I clicked read ECU right I was just showing you a couple different uh, ways to do th do things and I'm being a little redundant here but again let's err on that side of caution we gotta click change job and click on SG Codirin. Now that file that we loaded up is ready to be pushed down to the ECU. Make sure your car's got a good battery or if it's a questionable battery, put it on a battery charger. We're gonna click execute job and we should hear a little beep from the car. Coding active. Coding ended, we got our beep. And I lost the settings on the combi, of course, because it's reset now. So let's go see if we got what we were looking for. Okay, so key on. Run position. Got to close my door so that I can uh, go through the BC menu here. So we're going to hit BC. Miles still empty. Miles per hour is reset now because we recoded to the combi. Miles per gallon is reset. There's our vehicle speed. So I'm going to go take it on a quick test drive to make sure that that's uh, working properly. I would suspect it would. So there you can see it working. And if anybody wondering, I have a Alpina tune. That's why it's showing um, the gear I'm in. 
and as far as I can tell, it seems to be actually accurate. And the way I'm verifying that is um, I have a GPS uh, that indicates uh, speed, and it seems to be spot on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, set my cruise control to 30 miles per hour, let it hold. At 32, let's do that. You can see I'm on cruise now. Let's get it up to a continuous speed and let's compare. Okay, I haven't indicated 32 miles per hour, jumping between 31 and 32. Cruise is set at that. And uh, my GPS uh, is saying, um, my radar detector displaying GPS um, speed is saying 30, so pretty close. Okay, so that's going to show you how to do it. Uh, very easy and uh, I really like it. It just makes things easier. I don't have to look at my um, my needles anymore. I can just look there. And you know, since these are red now, they still stand out, but they're not as prominent as they were when they were white. So it's just nice to have that. And uh, FYI, if you guys have been following my coding videos, I go a little into detail. I don't keep things short. Some people don't like that, but that's just my style. Because you guys could always grab little nuances from the from what I'm saying, pause the video, think about it. If you're having a problem with what you're doing, maybe you'll catch it based on some of the things I've said. So for instance, when I click Codier Index Lesson in instead of Codier Dayton Lesson in the beginning, that may not seem ideal. But from what I found, some people are getting errors the other way. When you click Codier Index, you won't get the error and you get your files. Just one last chance of something going wrong for you guys. When I click on Get FSW, PSW, Coapi get. I'm actually kind of cross-checking the file before we push it into the ECU. You don't have to if you're an expert. We're in the expert profile, don't forget. You can just click uh, SG Coderin. But if there was a typo in that file, maybe it'll break your ECU and then you gotta go down, then you'll be panicking on how do I undo this. I'm hoping my videos will increase the success rate for you guys. Is it the fastest or more badass or more quick way to show you how to do things? Not necessarily, but uh, I think there'll be less chance of errors. So that's going to show you how to do it. Thank you for watching and look out for more coding videos and other BMW related videos. Consider subscribing if you like this type of content. Thank you. Let's <laughs> go.